Hi guys, so Sanal, it's a little dark right that way. Um, sorry about the light. I am going to plant a rose plant um, for my husband's aunt. We bought one um, who passed away and then also for my uh, aunt and uncle who passed away. That's kind of how I deal with grief. Everybody has their way, right? Um, and so I always plant a rose bush. This is um, the rose bush um, here. It's winter, so it hasn't come back yet. Uh, well, you know, it'll be spring in a few days. But this is one that I planted when my mom passed away. It's also um, the one that um, is for my mom, my grandmother, my Aunt Pearl, and Aunt Jack, and my auntie. So this is um, that one. It's huge. And so, yeah. Um, and so this is the one, which you probably already saw the footage. This is the one, it's gonna be yellow. Hopefully it did, it's, it's gonna live. I'm not sure y'all, <laughs> but this is the one for uh, my aunt and for my, um, for my husband's aunt and for my aunt and uncle uh, who passed away. And so it'll be this, this will be, uh, for them. I found these at Roses and um, that's the name of the store in Mississippi when we drive to Mississippi and go and uh, purchase food and so wow I was really shocked at the price and they have a huge selection only for 49 and so this is what I do I love rose bushes and so whenever someone passes away we um, I like to memorialize them um, with something beautiful and something that lasts and something that I can enjoy and our family can enjoy. So I'm just gonna plant this and yeah, we all have our ways to grieve. Um, and we've had a lot of loss, we suffered a lot of loss um, this year. So it's important that we find ways to deal with loss, to deal with grief and to deal with um, our emotions and find ways to heal and pathways to wellness um, for ourselves and for our loved ones and for our families. So join me for this spiritual journey um, into healing. All right, so I'm just gonna untie this and just kind of in there too. Ugh, I might have to have hubby. This thing is really tied down. I have to have hubby to do that. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, you came out. So, so this is it. And let's take this off. Got it wrapped up nice and good in there. So it does kind of come with some instructions. Let's at least try to read and see what it is. Right. Now leave the paper on or not. What's your thing? Leave this on or take it off? Leave it on. Okay. Just dig your hole with the Take it off. That bowl deep enough? I don't think so. Take it out, hold the side. That's all I got right here. You got one? You gotta go here and make one. Keep it short. Well, 
Um, the truth is that, you know, it's really the journey. Uh, planting and getting my hands dirty. All of that is just the journey. And so when you're healing, do what you need to do, but allow yourself time to process. I don't think that's big enough, so we're going to have to use something else. Maybe this. Maybe one of these. Please excuse my mannequin that's on the ground. Uh, I am a part-time reseller on some days. So I left those mannequins on the ground because I washed them and forgot all about them. So please excuse them. Um, you may see them throughout the video, so please um, just excuse that little one of the biggest lessons that I've learned as a part of my spiritual journey is that it's really not about perfection. So it's really not about perfection as much as it is about allowing myself the time to really heal and to do something that takes my mind off of whatever it is that you know i'm going through and it's the same for you we have to find healthy ways to really love ourselves and to find ways to memorialize our loved ones in beautiful and amazing ways that are healthy so that we can remember them with joy and with love and with peace these are the things that help us to heal, but also make our ancestors proud. We're not interested in perfection or in doing something that's going to be perfect, but in the process of working with simple materials like the earth and allowing Gaia, the mother, to heal us as we know our ancestors return back uh, to the earth to the earth from whence they came and so allowing us ourselves this opportunity to do something and create something beautiful with the earth helps us to heal and helps us to remember who we are and to remember that we are one with the earth and that we are one with all that is. We are one with our ancestors and they never leave us. They never leave us and they never forsake us. Since the pandemic, we have experienced as a whole, the world has experienced this huge outcome of grief and loss and pain and as spring comes it's time for us to remember just how magical the earth is and just how magical we are and that we have this beautiful opportunity and chance right now despite all that we have collectively gone through, individually gone through, personally gone through or lost, we have this moment, this time to heal each other and to heal the world. And so together we can set our intentions as a purposeful moment, an intentional moment to heal each other and to love each other and to be kind to each other, to create beautiful communities, um, sustainable, restorative communities where we serve each other and where we love each other and we're dedicated not to repeat the issues and the problems of the past, but we move forward in a way where we truly care for the earth we truly care for each other as individuals and we are committed to making and ensuring that everyone is okay that you're okay that i'm okay that my family's okay that your family's okay that we are okay as a people and as a nation and as 
humans of the earth. And so in this moment, I pray that you will take this opportunity to heal and to love yourself. So I am pouring this water and as I pour this water, I'm saying prayers and in my mind, I'm calling the name of my ancestors. And so if you'd like to call the name of your ancestors, this would be a great time to do so and to call their names and to let them know that you are so blessed and so fortunate to have had them in your life and so I pray that you are healing and if you had a loss this year if you've suffered a loss or even just um, had some challenges with your work or job uh, due to COVID that you are truly allowing yourself this moment to release it all to the ancestors and to release it all and allow yourself this opportunity to hear. All right, well, my rosebush is planted. I feel better. <laughs> Thank you for being with me while I did this um, as a memorial. So when we finally found the spot, <laughs> right? It's like Goldilocks. Finally found the spot. I got dirt all over my hands. I'm feeling good, y'all. Spring is coming. But she's a beauty. And she's here. So that's all that matters. And so we'll have roses very, very soon. So I hope your process to healing is going well. And I hope you know just how much you're loved and that the ancestors are always with you. And you are never alone. Love you guys so much. And <laughs> I'll see you in another broadcast really soon.